this is Steve Kendall, uh, tech specialist for SailPoint. I'm going to show you today uh, a WannaCry ransomware uh, demonstration with Security IQ doing the detection and taking positive action as a result of the ransomware. Uh, we're going to do a number of steps. Um, after the initial detection, which we're really we're using our live activity monitoring there to monitor for specific file extensions that WannaCry uh, produces when it starts encrypting files. A uh, number of steps we'll do then is we'll disable the user's Active Directory account and set an appropriate description. Find the user's session ID in the domain, force a log off, shut down the, the workstation. Send appropriate emails to IT security and interested parties. We could uh, reach out to a SIM system, uh, write to a syslog, do any number of actions at this stage. We'll also launch some workflows in Identity IQ to disable the user's Identity Cube and raise a single user access cert to a manager for uh, verification of the correct permissions that sh the user should have. Let's have a look at the uh, setup in the background. So I've got a, a VMware here, and you can see here I've got Security IQ. If I refresh this activity filter, there's currently no activities have occurred. I've cleared them out just for the sake of the demo. I've got an email box here. There's currently no emails there. I've got uh, a lady called Amanda Ross in here. If I refresh, you can see she's a, an enabled user. And I've got a, a Windows file uh, folder structure here where currently there's no files in that top level structure. Okay, so let's log in as Amanda Ross and let's see what actually happens. I'll do a remote terminal services in. So let's go in like that. There we go, and she's on her desktop. Um, the ransomware is actually a, a file on the desktop for the sake of a demo, so I'll just launch that. Um, currently, this is a, a JPEG rather than the actual uh, virus running itself. Uh, it's demo purposes, don't want to get into any trouble. So she's in this scenario where she's uh, become a victim of this ransomware, and in the in the background. Uh, security IQ, the activity monitoring, will detect that the uh, files are starting to be encrypted, looking for those extensions, and then within 60 seconds, the uh, session will be closed down, should be logged off, the machine will be closed down, and various people will be emailed, as, as I've shown you on the PowerPoint, those actions that will, will have been taken. There you go. Is a session being log logged out and that's closing the session out and then we're back to the VM we can see what's basically going on so first of all on the right hand side here you can see that uh, there's a, a file there um, obviously I've constructed it so it's a, a, an easily identifiable file for us in the demo but ultimately there's a .wcry file there that's being created and that's one of the file extensions that uh, the live activity uh, re uh, monitoring was looking out for uh, and then enacting your policy. Uh, we we'll also see in Active Directory, if I refresh that, you can see now there's a little black down arrow saying she's, her account is disabled. Double click, we can see in the description, disabled by Security IQ. This is a WannaCry victim, uh, the date and time. Um, Within Security IQ, if I refresh the filter here, uh, we should be able to see her, that activity. So sure enough, if I double click on that, uh, we can see here that, yeah, sure enough, uh, WannaCry ransom alert, that's what's being called. And it was because of the creation of a, a file with the extension of WCRY. And we'll come back to that shortly. Uh, we also have got some emails. Let's get those. So we see the, the ransomware alert. Um, going to IT security or whoever, so very clear ransomware, want to cry alert, the file, the, the date, the, the, the target username, that kind of information. Um, also, we're seeing a new access certification uh, request going to Amanda's manager, Jerry Bennett. And this is a result of, you know, Security IQ, want to cry victim review of Amanda Ross. So this is notifying uh, Jerry Bennett to log in and, and provide that certification uh, process. Um, we can jump across to Identity IQ and if we look in here we'll see uh, Amanda Ross here, she, her cube, cube is disabled and if we go across to certifications we should see that uh, 
certification there. Here you go, Security IQ. Uh, Wanna cry victim review for Amanda Ross. And you can see here it's just a single user cert uh, for one person. It's just belt and braces doing additional checks. Uh, as well as that, if we go into advanced analytics, uh, important we keep a good uh, audit trail. Um, so I can search for SIQ alerts in here if I run the search. Yeah, you can see here there's a number of test scenarios that I've done here. Uh, but ultimately it's just you know, showing content. Yeah, why, would, why did we log this? It's because we wanted to do a, a, a WannaCry certification. So that's, that's the main demo. Um, if we show you now in Security IQ the policy that was involved uh, to make this happen. Uh, we go to policies, access policies. Um, if we come in here now, we should be able to find here. Here we go, the WannaCry uh, policy. Uh, and you'll see in here, I'm detecting a you know, little gray box there, uh, only only five um, file extensions. There's a, There are a number of other extensions and actually there are a number of other viruses. And you see above this, I've got a, a, a another malicious file alert for umpteen different types of viruses that you know we've, we've figured out over, over the, uh, the years. So the, the actual detection itself, you know, very, very simple uh, in this respect. Um, let's get it there and I can actually edit that. And you'll see it's quite simple. Five items, if I edit that, you'll be able to see them easier. Um, uh, and we can add to this, of course. And then if we click Next, you'll see that we're doing a security IQ alert response, the ran ransomware alert <laughs> for the email, and then the WannaCrypt uh, user exit, which ultimately what we're doing with that is we're calling a PowerShell script. And the PowerShell script is doing a lot of the work for us there, ultimately. Um, that's allowing us to look in the domain, close down the session, force the log off, um, use web services to talk to identity IQ to initiate the workflows to disable the queue and do the single user cert uh, and obviously emails and whatnot go out as well. So that's it, uh, that's how we detect uh, the WannaCry uh, ransomware within security IQ. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.